All right, in this video, we are going to be talking about number bonds and how to use those number bonds to represent uh, fractions, but also not only just fractions, but like the fractions that represent the shaded part and the fraction that represents the unshaded part and put that together into a single number bond. So this is gonna be fun, so let's get started. All right, so let's say I've got this rectangle and I'm gonna cut it up into eight pieces, right? So that tells me that the denominator is gonna be eight. And then, oh, let's shade it in and let's shade in one, two, three, four, uh, five. So I've shaded in five of them. All right, so now what we've got is we've got a hole and some of it has been shaded in, some of it has not been shaded in. And so what we can do is we can represent that hole, so that's our one hole, as a, with a number bond, all right? And because I see that three out of the eight, uh, no, five out of the eight are shaded, and I can see that three out of the eight are un shaded. So that tells me that the number bond is going to be five eighths are going to be shaded. And I'll just do a different color. It doesn't have to be a different color, but I'm going to do it in, in blue to say that three eighths is uh, unshaded. So here's our uh, number bond right here. One hole represents this entire rectangle. Five eighths represents the pieces that have been shaded in. The three-eighths represents the pieces that have not been shaded in, and there we go. Now, if we want, we can also break up each of these into unit fractions. So I could call this one-eighth, 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 this one-eighth, and then do the same thing here, one-eighth, one-eighth, and I'm having to get creative, one eight. And the idea is to recognize uh, that each of these fractions, pieces over here is a one eighth. So each one of these is a one eighth. And so we can represent that in the shape right here, like I'm doing right now, but we can also represent that in the number bond over here. All right, so here's the main part of the number bond, the one whole, the five eighths, and the three eighths. But then we can add in the unit. We can further break it down into the unit fractions if we choose. So here we go. Uh, I mean, it's obvious right now that, that that whole thing represents one whole. So this whole rectangle is our one whole. It says so right here, but we knew it anyway. And then we can see by counting that we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six out of seven eighths. Six out of eight. So we can call that six eighths is shaded. And what's the other part of our number bond? It's two eighths. And don't forget, if we wished, we could break up each of these number bonds into unit fractions like this. I'm not going to do that this time, uh, but inside each one of these would be a one-eighth because all of these represent one piece out of the entire thing, which is eight pieces. So each of these would be one-eighths. So if we saw kind of doing it in reverse, if we were given a number bond that looked like this, one whole and then here's our two-sixths, what would go here? All right, so what we might do is we might draw a rectangle, and let's see if I could do that. Let's see, draw a rectangle. There you go. And then uh, what we would need to do, because we see this one fraction here is two-sixths, that tells us that this whole rectangle has been cut up into six pieces. So I'm going to cut it up into six parts like that. And there's my six, one, two, three, four, five, six, because the denominator is six. This two says we need to shade in two of them. It doesn't matter which two. I'll shade in this one and this one. I don't know why I chose those two, but that's what I'm going to do. So I can see that I have two that are 
two, sh- uh, two sixths that are shaded. And that means I have four sixths that are unshaded. And so automatically, what goes here? Right there, well, we now know what goes there. It's going to be a four-sixths. And don't forget, if we wanted to, we could then turn each of those into unit fractions, but I'm not going to do that in this example. So that wraps up this lesson, really. So if you think about it, we start with a figure right here, and that figure is going to be partially shaded and partially not shaded. And because it's been cut into five pieces, we know that each of these pieces, in this case, is a fifth. And then, because of that, we now see that three fifths are shaded and two fifths are unshaded. So we can write that in our number bond. And then if we wish, we can further decompose three fifths into unit fractions and two-fifths into unit fractions. And that wraps up this lesson on unit fractions and shaded and unshaded and number bonds.